we are halfway through 2024 and the extremities we are experiencing are evident. Extreme temperatures, floods, cold weather and everything in between. This is undoubtedly a wake up call. We recognize the need for change and we know that technology holds the solutions. The question is how we will adopt and implement these changes. This will revolutionize how we live. When we talk about technology, what does that mean? Just as highways laid the foundation for efficient movement of people and goods over the past century, semiconductors are the foundation of modern technology. Today, AI is transforming how we operate, make decisions and live our lives, hopefully for the better. However, AI would not exist without the immense computing power provided by semiconductors, which are now smaller than a thumbnail. Semiconductors are the basis, the foundation, the highway on which technology builds. Here in India, we are discussing what this means for a country that is just beginning to emerge as a player in the semiconductor industry. The global semiconductor market is currently around half a trillion dollars and is expected to double. With AI's rapid market integration, it's not a stretch to say it will exceed a trillion dollars in the next 8 to 10 years. What took 60 years to achieve will now happen in just 8 years. This rapid growth necessitates extensive involvement and resources. Factories, services and other components will need to expand in a highly accelerated and smart manner. Over the past 60 to 70 years, the semiconductor industry has evolved significantly. Initially, a few vertically integrated companies handled everything from design to manufacturing. By the 70s and 80s, globalization shifted manufacturing to cheaper locations, leading to a more distributed production model. Today, numerous companies are involved in the semiconductor supply chain. Materials might come from Japan or Korea, metal in lead frames from China or Southeast Asia, gold wire from Japan and wafer fabrication from the US. This outsourcing model led to the rise of specialized manufacturing companies and a focus on scaling up production to reduce costs. The trend toward consolidation is seen in many industries, not just semiconductors. Semiconductor manufacturing is complex requiring expertise in lithography, optical characteristics, mechanical and chemical processes, thermal dynamics, and solid state physics. Companies have specialized in different areas, leading to the dominance of large product companies like Nvidia, Broadcom, Qualcomm, Texas Instruments, Micron, and Samsung. Each segment is dominated by a few large players, holding significant market share. The same trend is seen in materials and wafer fabrication with companies like Sumitomo and TSMC leading their respective fields. The dominance of these companies often results in smaller players being acquired or going out of business. In each segment of the semiconductor supply chain, a few major companies hold substantial market share and drive research and development efforts. The COVID-19 pandemic exposed the vulnerabilities of this model. Despite being highly efficient and well coordinated, the semiconductor industry was severely impacted. Factories dependent on migrant workers faced labor shortages as workers returned to their home countries. Additionally, the industry's minimal inventory approach meant any disruption could halt the entire supply chain. Before the pandemic, the industry operated with precision with materials and production cycles meticulously planned. However, during COVID-19, even a small supplier's inability to meet demand could collapse the entire chain. This fragility led to significant risk disruptions in 2020 and 2021, causing panic and double booking. Yet, 2022 turned out to be a record year for the semiconductor industry in terms of revenue, 
driven by the increased demand for personal transportation, home office equipment, and enhanced bandwidth. In summary, while the current supply chain model has strengths, the pandemic highlighted its critical weaknesses. As we look ahead, we see a significant demand driven by AI, which has emerged as a killer application we've long awaited. NVIDIA is well known for its processing power, handling the massive amounts of data AI requires. However, there will also be a surge in power requirements necessitating a variety of power chips to support data centers and other computing needs. The shift away from fossil fuel towards renewable energy sources like hydrogen and green power will further influence the market alongside the growing demand for electric vehicles and energy efficient technologies. Now, coming to India, the country has its own unique strengths. One of India's greatest strengths is a strong democracy characterized by diverse opinions and a multicultural society. India's diversity is an asset with many languages spoken in a rich tradition of innovation. This is complemented by a cultural emphasis on frugality and resourcefulness, often referred to as frugal engineering, which allows Indians to create and maintain solutions efficiently without unnecessary waste. What is IVP's role? IVP is a fabulous semiconductor with a unique approach tailored to the Indian market. As a new player in the industry, IVP brings a distinct business model influenced by Indian culture and market needs. Unlike American, European or Japanese companies, IVP's strategies and product development will be deeply rooted in the local context. India presents a challenging yet promising market for semiconductor solutions. By focusing on this market, IVP aims to create robust, cost-effective solutions. The Indian market's complexity and diversity serves as a valuable testing ground for innovations. Historically, the semiconductor industry has primarily served affluent populations, but the next decade requires solutions addressing global challenges like climate change, which disproportionately affect less affluent communities. IVP aims to create products that can solve these problems starting in India and expanding globally. As a startup, IVP recognizes the challenges faced by previous Indian semiconductor startups that aim for global market from the outset. Many struggle to survive due to the time and financial resources required to compete with established giants. IVP strategy is different. By focusing on the Indian market first, IVP can build a strong foundation and gradually expand internationally. In five years, IVP's success in India will propel it into the global stage, benefiting both the company and the global ecosystem.